name is Zachary Gabbard, and I'm teaching the Foundry Processes and Sculpture class. There we go. Uh, Foundry is a culmination of several other types of skills that you can pick up in other classes. This looked like a fun class, lots of sculpture and metal. Welding, bronze and aluminum casting. Ceramic shell molds. Uh... This one's partially broken out. It's already been poured full of bronze, but it's this white investment material right here. So essentially a statue will get made entirely in wax, invested in this white material here, loaded into the kiln, and burned at 1600 degrees. The wax melts slash is incinerated, leaving a perfect negative copy of the space it once occupied. And then hence allowing you to pour bronze into that negative space inside of the shell, achieving a perfect copy of what was once in wax and bronze. And that has been the same process since the Roman era. <laughs> So the uh, investment the material has changed a little bit. I'm a continuing ed student. I'm um, continuing ed. I'm taking stuff that interests interest me. I'm doing uh, bigger 3D work right now. I usually consider myself like an illustrator or a painter. I'm doing uh, more aluminum casting myself. I decided to get oh, completely away from 2D this semester, which is why I'm doing all the metal classes. The uh, facilities here are really good. The foundry stuff. You know, pen and paper, you can get that anywhere, but you can't get a foundry. All grinding tools, a ton of equipment that we can use. It's all in really good shape. And having been at other schools, that makes like a huge difference. Most people will not own a facility like this, but they, they, they will hopefully leave the class with uh, every bit of understanding on how to talk to a facility, uh, a foundry facility, and, and, and get a project made the way that they would like outside of uh, you know, the context of this class.